end up in nature cat all of the kind of that wide range yeah i think so yeah it's, it's, and it's everything that we really love to do when we you know growing up I and mean, we you know fun fun time and day when we live after and we, you know we love those those shows and um the comedy and the for comedy and we wanted to get that in nature cat as well and then like david was saying these characters that you know they're so endearing and so well-rounded you know we kind of threw it all into the show and <coughs> it just happened over time it, really, it had to evolve and the characters changed a lot from the script you know um, they, they feel like they're getting stronger and stronger, and the cast brings so much to it as well, so it's just a good mix of, of everything that we, we like to do. So you guys are now licensed uh, to outlets in Canada, in Sweden, and Ireland, um, lots of other countries, the Middle East and Israel. Um, how do you think about the international audience as you guys are now developing seasons two and three? Is that something you think about when you're writing? Um, um, in, I mean, go ahead. <laughs> No, yeah, I, 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 not, I mean, I think we just think about the audience as, as a whole in terms of, of just you know, this age group and, 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 and black and mild family. And because I'm gonna save this for later. That, you know, I'm gonna let that go out. World that we can research from so I can smoke it later. I don't want to smoke it all right now. Where the same problem is, is there not? I don't even know why I lit it up, really, future. but whatever. So, I'll smoke uh, it later. You know, the, the problem there, and we just um, go about business. I'm just trying to enjoy a drink right now. Last night, <clears throat> don't be ratting me out, don't be snitching, but last night, I ate like four Chicago hot dogs, okay, all beef frank, bun, all beef frank, dickle, uh, pickle, spear, sports peppers, neon relish, onions, mu yellow mustard, and I put, and I sprinkled, a little bit of black pepper on it just give it a little bit more flavor it was good it was really really good very good don't tell nobody but I also like Italian beef sandwiches Get some Italian beef, put that on a bun, like a hoagie bun. <clears throat> Get yourself like some of that cheese whiz, the cheese in a can. Put that on your Italian beef sandwich. I put whatever else you like on there. Oh, that's good. Chicago style hot dogs, Italian beef. That's my food. I also like hot, I like open face hot beef sandwiches. With mashed potatoes and gravy with the bread with the big pile of beef on it with the, with the gravy on it that's good i also like fried catfish <clears throat> i like fried catfish it's really good but my number one thing i like to eat probably my number one i don't eat it a lot because i like to treat myself to it and if I eat something too much and burn myself out on it, a little gassy right now. Pardon me. But I like to eat steaks. Usually ribeye steak. About medium, medium well. That's pretty good. 
And I like my steak to be cooked really nice, so I don't even have to use no A1 sauce or any type of steak sauce. Because if you got a steak that's like this, you don't need you don't need no sauce. Maybe a little bit of lour lour seasoning, maybe a little bit of cracked pepper, a little salt or whatever. But you don't need no A1 sauce. You don't need a lot of seasonings. Just enjoy the steak the way it is. That's the best way to do it. Because you spend, if you spend like 30 or 40 bucks on a really nice steak, and you cover it with steak sauce, like A1 or uh, whatever, all you're gonna taste is steak sauce. You're not even gonna get to taste the steak the way it should be taste, tasted. That's a little bit of a shame, a little sad, a little shameful, because a steak, if it made right, you don't need you don't need to disguise it. You don't need to cover it up. Just eat it the way it is. Maybe a little cracked pepper. Maybe a little bit of salt. You don't need no ketchup. You don't need no sauce. But I'm not trying to make a video about that because anybody who knows me probably already knows that I like steak. So it should go without saying. I really like casseroles too. I really like food, like homemade food, like someone's mom might make or something. Like casseroles and um, things like that. Those are pretty good. And of course I like pasta. Tortellini, ravioli, spaghetti, lasagna, so on and so forth, pasta. That's good. Good food. Don't tell nobody this, <clears throat> but I've never made my own sushi. I like sushi, I eat sushi, but anytime I want sushi, I go out and get it at a restaurant. I never make my own sushi because number one, I do not I do not know how to. To make sushi, it takes a little bit of finesse, it takes a little bit of precision, and it takes a little bit of skill to make sushi, so I don't make my own sushi. But that is something I would be interested in learning, making my own sushi. But I do like sushi, it's good. I've been asking around, I've been asking everybody, hey, y'all got that Nintendo Switch yet? Anybody got a Nintendo Switch yet? I'm trying to play that. I'm trying to play a few games for the Nintendo Switch. So has anybody got one? Nobody's got a Nintendo Switch. You know what? <clears throat> Are people going to be lame and not have no Nintendo Switch when they want to be self-identified as gamers but you ain't got a Nintendo Switch I'll just get my own Nintendo Switch because I'm not trying to rely on other people for, for, for stuff I get it myself <clears throat> but whatever I'm not going to give myself a headache over something small like that 
Anyways, good job.